Hello Blast Process viewers and here we are at the EGX event and I'm with Richard who's one half of Anio. Anio, yeah. Anio. I'm going to say it wrong, aren't I? No, Anio. You were saying it right. I'm saying it right. We're a two-man indie team and we're creating a game called Nature's Zombie Apocalypse. Um, yes, which is currently playing Beyond the People back here. Beyond the People, yeah. But we'll get footage of it, don't worry. <laughs> so uh, we got... Uh, it's all about all humans turn to zombies, animals have to fight back. And there's a local co-op multiplayer game. We're currently on Steam. And uh, you can be all kinds of different animals. So you can be a uh, sloth, a gorilla, an elephant, a, uh, what else we got? We got a duck, and we got loads of different animals that we're adding to the game constantly. And uh, it's all based around like levels in London as well. So we got Trafalgar Square and Tower Bridge, and a, a generic streets level as well. And we got different bosses that we chuck in that year as well. So we got uh, the zombie dinner lady who is brutal. She has got like a big, massive frying pan coming at you with it and you just got to run. You've got to run when you get, get to see her. And you've got a lumberjack with a massive axe. She, he throws it at you. Just dodge that. And um, a clown with a massive lollipop. And he's pretty brutal. And this is a special one that we've added for EGX, yeah. which is the, the queen. So we've added the zombie queen in, who is literally Ooh, controversial. Nah. Yeah. Uh, and she's got her own little guards. Yeah. So uh, they'll they'll come out of the ground and they'll shoot at you. And they, it's just extremely brutal. Like the queen isn't that strong for the, the her with her guards. It's just really hard to get her. So. I think are you based in London? That's why the London theme. Look, so it's a I'm based in recognition. I'm based in London, and it's a two-man team. And Rob's based in Southampton. So it's a. Uh, we kind of work separately, but uh, through Skype half the time, so it's, it's yeah. great. Does the choice of uh, animals say affect the loadout, or is it just for you recognition can, on screen? So you can choose all kinds of different weapons, and uh, each animal uh, has its own special move, but you can choose whatever weapons. So, like, the duck creates a, a tornado, uh, the elephant charges at you, and the other special moves that we've got. But uh, we've also got some special weapons that are based around animals. So we've got suicidal snails, flamingo turrets, and and a few other ones. We've got crab turrets, and yeah, we're we're, we're putting in a whole load of different surprises. Yeah, uh, I was just watched it going over there, and you got the uh, Trafalgar Square level going. Yeah, and I was trying to see what you got on the fourth plinth. Uh, and it's blank there. Now. At the moment, it's blank. Yeah. Uh, we have put uh, uh, on Nelson's column. It's got a bear Nelson now. <laughs> so there is a a bear is an animal, but not a bear is not a naked animal. Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a, not a naked one. <laughs> but uh, we want to put something on the blimp that's kind of the same. I was thinking a duck, but I've got to do him in a, a very fancy pose. So I haven't quite done that yet. Yes. Oh, the winner of the tournament. The com yeah, maybe. High score table thing. <laughs> There's a thought. I was quite intrigued to see that. <laughs> is this your first independent project? So I've created a few other indie games, same as uh, my colleague, and uh, and then we, we both teamed up uh, just r randomly out of the blue, and we were just like, okay, like this game I, I kind of concepted, and I made it for like my three little nephews, and it was literally my previous games had animals in, and I really like zombie games, and I wanted to make one that they can all work together, and this is uh, the creation that came out of and I suppose it's kind of fairly family friendly due to that you've got animals and, and zombies are the, yeah. the, the go-to thing to kill nowadays. Yeah, well we've had a few, quite a few families play it. Uh, we were at Insomnia earlier this year yeah. and we had great responses from it so we're hoping to get the same here. Okay, it's looking really polished. Uh, it, it, it's just really, really nice. It's still early days so we are adding loads to it and uh, bug fixes all over the place but yeah it's it, and we're hoping to get Xbox One start next year as well. I shall say, what well, so format was obviously you mentioned Steam, that yeah. PC. So it's going to be PC moved to Xbox One. So we're PC, Mac, and Linux, and yeah. uh, we're heading to Xbox One start next year, and hopefully PC is, uh, uh, hopefully PlayStation as well. Right. Um, basically everywhere. Bas basically everywhere, and we're also uh, can, we're aiming in the future to hit, hit some mobile targets as well. Superb. Now then. We have a question. We always end on the question. Our question is... Super Nintendo. Good answer. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you.